Well, there can be a few reasons why you want to prepare your whole document in R. Maybe I don't like Microsoft and I don't want to pay for Office. Maybe I don't like the word processor format and because I can't tell the difference between Arial and Colibri. And if I include both of them in the same doc, my manuscript will get rejected without knowing why. Uh, maybe referencing is just a nightmare in any kind of word processor software. For example, if you want to change from Harvard to APA, you might have to redo the whole thing. Well, you can pay for a reference manager, but why, why would anyone do that, right? There can be a few more. So you want to look cool writing on your manuscript in the office. Well, everything is absolute. There's no more unknown underline. There's no extra spaces between text and everything is very easy to automatable. Um, lastly, maybe you just want to support open source project with donations and bug report and you want to reject capitalism in your life. So this is how you actually do it. Step one, install R and R Studio. Just go to the website, go to the website, download the .exe file or .dmg file and press next until you get everything installed and the icon show up on your desktop. Step two, cry because you're not sure how to start and once you stop crying, you can just take somebody else's paper and pretend that you are being productive, just like I did. So step three, open R Studio and install this, top, this two package called Rascal and Tiny Text and then runs this command to make sure you have Latex Engine installed in your RStudio environment. Once you've done that, restart RStudio just to make sure everything is done correctly and then go to File, New File, R Markdown from Template. Since I'm using an article as an example from PLOS One, I'm going to choose PLOS One Journal Article and give it a new name, for example, My Journal. Step 4. Enter the title, the author and the author information based on the description and you can add more if you have more author just by copy pasting the title. If you have not realized that, we don't have to care about the first page. We don't have to care about the bolding, the underline and typeface. It's that easy. Step 5. Enter the content of your paper. For me, I'm just going to copy paste accordingly. For plus one, you're supposed to add the image outside of the text document and submit separately. But if you do want to have them inside, you can actually use this embedding code for a figure like that. Remember, the front is the caption, one in the back is the URL. Step six, this is actually my favorite part, is to configure the citation list. So instead of remembering the order of year, author, publisher, title, year, publisher, pages, and all that nonsense, all the, with all the complicated spacings and bold italic in the process, what you do here is you open this file which is actually exists in the folder and you just enter the item according to this list and it takes care of the rest. Best part, you can actually reuse the whole set if I submit for another manuscript. That in the same order and just reuse the same file and it will generate based on the different requirements for the different journal article. Step seven, uh, did about 20 or 30 of this version based on the input of your quota and supervisors and experimental data. And then finally, you are, when you are ready to submit, clicks need. Okay, this will generate a version of the file you enter into a system and you can use this as an export as, as a reference of how it will look like when you send over. So I hope this helps with people trying to convert your support for capitalism industry. And this is Ani. Can you come in? <laughs> So, so I hope this helped you on trying to convert your support for capitalism into an open source community. So be sure to donate some of your money uh, to the developer of TinyTax as well as R and report any bugs to the creator when you can. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.